Welcome back to War Thunder. It is Krebsy here in the M22 Locust, the tank that you guys requested in the last video when I was doing the M24 Shafi. Now, this little go kart of a vehicle should really not be on the battlefield. I mean, just look at it. It's like, it's a go kart. It should be on a circuit or on a track. Okay, but let's be fair. It is a very powerful tank nonetheless. It's a light vehicle coming out at about a rating of 2.0. And it's the predecessor to the M24 Shafi. And it feels a lot like the M24 Shafi, where it's got these, this great mobility, good firepower. It just doesn't have a lot of survivability. And I feel that this is exacerbated, uh, especially since this tank only has three crew members, opposed to the M24 Shafi's four. But also, since it's a low tier match, uh, low tier matches is all about... Low tier matches is all about uh, just getting the first shot on your opponents. And because what tends to happen in these low tier games is that you have not a lot of armor, but you have shells that do more than enough penetration. And so what often ends up happening is that even a single shot, that first shot, is capable of knocking out vehicles. So that survivability is very, definitely enhanced at these low tiers and having hardly any crew members to work with here. Oh my dearie me. That's an M that's an M3 Lee. Or Grant or whatever. Whoa, did you see that ricochet off the sand? Man, no, I'm not going to take that from far away. He's got so many people inside that cake tank that uh, I don't feel comfortable taking that on. So I'm just going to keep off from the distance and uh, not engage him just yet. Okay, right, what do we got? So it has a lot of the same features as the M24 Shafi. Uh, really good top speeds, goes all the way up into the 50s kilometers per hour. Uh, so you can get from point A to point B very, very quick. But it also has good firepower. On the armor-piercing rounds, it goes all the way up to 90 millimeters of penetration. But I'm actually using the armor-piercing capped shells. Because I feel like those armor-piercing shells, just the standard ones, are kind of problematic. Uh, because they tend to bounce off the enemies very, very often. That guy's just dead. Yeah, I tried to kill his driver. But no cigar. No cigar. Alright, we did a lot of damage to this guy. Fire away into there. Do some more damage. Is that what I'm seeing? That's a rocket vehicle. Hello there, rocket vehicle. Haven't seen one of you before. Radiator. And come on. Come on. Back up. I can do this. I see enough of him that I should be able to blow him up. <laughs> At least I hope so, anyway. What is he doing? Okay, somebody else killed him. Fair enough. But, as I was saying, uh, the firepower is really good. But the armor-piercing shells tend to ricochet a lot, so that's why I've got the capped ones, because I'm hoping that the normalization uh, improves on them. And so far, yeah, pretty much. Seems to be pretty good. Kill that AI off. I could grab a bomber. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to let things sort of pan out a little bit. Uh-oh. We've got some enemies around here. We're going to stay in this ditch area. We're going to let the uh, battlefield pan out a little bit, get a bit fluid, and then once people have moved around and exposed themselves, then I'll try to make some more work. And plus, I get a good vantage point up here to see what's actually going on down there. But I feel like the mobility of the M22 is kind of a bit too strong. I'm going to show you guys some examples of why I think so when, when we're back into the M22. Ooh, there's an, an enemy in M22. There's that, and there's that for you, and I didn't forget about you as well, sir. Oh, is that what I think it is? It's an SPAA. We're gonna go in for the machine gun kill, or try to anyway. And we're gonna crash into him if all else fails. No, come on, I might get it. Ah, oh, did I? I don't know if I did or not. TBF, I did. I killed him. <laughs> I love it. You can crash the plane into those SPAAs and it finishes them off. Okay, so we're gonna push up now that we know that the battlefield is panned out a little bit and most of them are uh, in their spawn towards the south rather than the one over there. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So when, with this vehicle, as I was saying about the mobility, check this out. If I want to do a simple turn, it can't be just a simple turn. It has to move forward as well. See? It moves forward by itself. Look. And then it's going to move forward by itself. I don't know why it does that. Strange little thing. 
We just took a shot into those T at T70. I'm gonna move. I'm not gonna stay there because, as I said, I have almost no survivability. But those T70s are literally one of the worst nightmares uh, in these in these low tier matches because their armor is very effective, very very effective. It's sloped and armor piercing rounds, as I said, tend to just have this uh, occurrence where they bounce or ricochet off of uh, sloped armor, and those T70s are just notorious to kill. Uh, so if I'm going to have any chance of killing him, it's going to be in a close range scenario. Alright, let's push on up. I'm surprised that I didn't start drowning there. <laughs> was in some pretty damn deep water. Had to get my snorkel out. In order to survive, I would have to go scuba diving. Alright, here we go. We got Mr. That dude. That's a Panzer, not a T-70. I was expecting to see a T-70. We didn't. So where did he go? Is he going around the rock or what the heck is going on right now? Wait, I've got somebody highlighted right now. I think he may very well be be going around this rock right now. So we're just going to go in anticipation that that's exactly what he's doing. We're taking a guess. Stop. Alright, we've also got bombs. Or artillery even. So I'm going to drop some artillery. Get some people moving around. Let them know that I'm here. Okay, I don't know where the guy went. I, f I felt like I seen him on my mini-map. He might be somewhere hiding behind this giant rock. Worst thing that could happen is if he comes up behind me somehow. Oh, what do I see here? Oh, dearie me! I think this guy just screwed up. Come on, kill the, kill the commander. Or kill the gunner, even. Alright. Luckily, he did no damage. He failed his shots. But we need to back off, because that Stilg over there is going to do some pretty big damage to me. Quick! Quick, get repaired! Turn around! Alright, so far so good. I mean, we're alive. But I really want to back off here. That Stilg should have no angle on me. Let's drop a bomb on that Stilg, in fact. Stilgy. No! Oh, I got distracted by the artillery! You know... God damn it, guys. <laughs> God damn it, guys. You guys keep on saying in the comments, Krebs, you need to use your artillery. Yeah, I understand it. But look what happened. I used, I tried to maximize uh, my efficiency by using artillery, then quickly swapping towards the enemy, but instead just distracted me from the guy pushing on up. Damn it. I shouldn't listen to you guys. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, I need to be uh, a bit more... A bit more cautious when I'm using stuff like artillery when I've got enemies around me. Yeah, to be fair. I don't know. I thought I had enough time to do it. Or used it even. But okay. I wish we could come first place. I don't think it's going to happen unless I grab a bomber. Uh, I mean, I'm a fast vehicle and all, but... I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to get to the enemies. So, I think I'm going to use my chances to go out into the bomber. And do some damages to the enemies. But yeah, very fast reload speeds on... On the M22 Locust, like three seconds. So good. Becomes a lot worse, though. As soon as you start losing uh, crew members within there. Because three guys, losing a single one is just not fun. That B17 is trying to save the day. We're going to devote a few bombs to these guys. And you know what we're going to do for this guy? We're going to crash into him because... Boom! Did we get the kill? Ground unit killed. Come on. Take me to first place. Two... Come on, more! Oh, no, we can't do it. Nah, I was hoping that we could get to uh, first place, but not every time. So what did this guy use? He used a Stug. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to what's going on in front of me. He used a Stug. And there we go, guys. I tried. I tried. But even just one little misstep, I think that was a good example, in fact. Just one little misstep with this uh, Locust can easily be your demise. Because one shot into the tank, easily finish it off. Wow, I even unlocked the M4A376. That's cool. Nice. So you guys can take a look at my tree now. Look at that. That's what my tree looks like for the Americans. Not really fleshed out compared to my Germans and my Russians. But anyway, guys, that is it for the M22 Locust. A fun vehicle. A lot like the M24 Shafi, but uh, definitely meets its problems because of its battle rating. Uh, and that's something that you have to consider. So uh, be careful. Be cautious. Just because you're fast doesn't mean you have to approach the enemies fast as well. 
Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. And until next one, this is Krabzy. And I'll catch you guys later. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we're blasting off into the ozone. The way we kick it in the dojo is local for sure, though.